This is the Luxembourg Rose, 26 year old secondary school teacher Nicola McAvoy. Nicola was born and raised in Kerry Pike in Cork. Mum and Dad now live in Kinsale. She now teaches at the European School in Luxembourg and plays with their local GA team, the Luxembourg Rose. Welcome, Nicola McAvoy. Hello, Rahi. I'm not too sure if the wife liked that one. Hi everybody. <laughs> you have a you have a good gang with you. I have an incredible gang down there. Yeah, they're looking very uh, excitable. <laughs> uh, first of all, before we talk about mm. them, uh, you kissed me three times. I did. Lovely. I mean, I just can't get enough of your die. Okay. <laughs> My wife says the same thing. Sorry, Rita. <laughs> uh, that, yeah. is that, that's a tradition. It is a tradition in Luxembourg, actually. Yeah, I think um, I actually asked a Luxembourgish man why they kiss three times, and he said they just can't get enough. So, yeah. And, and they like it? <laughs> they like it, yeah. They like it. And so. uh, is that yeah. okay, love? That, is that okay that she kissed me three times? <laughs> and she... Whoa. That's not cool, is it? It's cool. Actually, it's I get three, good. I get three more good. kisses. <laughs> Go on, actually, girls. actually, we'll be back after the break. <laughs> I'm only joking. And, uh, who, okay, who's here with you? You, I have big my... Big from Cork, because you're from Cork. I, yeah, I'm from Cork. Um, I have the, all the McAvoy family. I have the McCarthys, my mum's family, and I have the lovely um, Don family, all my boyfriend's family there. <laughs> so is, was this the kind of uh, meet the parents, the parents meeting the parents kind of thing this, here? No, it's happened already. It's, it's happened yeah, already. it's happened already. But this has been the perfect occasion for the parents to meet the parents and everything. And, and they're all getting on well. It went well. Because uh, you moved over... <laughs> Even though they're sitting, it's like the old dance hall, one half on one side of the room and the other on the other half. I know. <laughs> is, that, is, is, is that a voodoo doll he is? <laughs> Who's he? Who's he? You have the same dress on. <laughs> Who made that? You don't know. Oh my God, that's my cousin Jennifer. She was looking Jennifer for Jennifer looks like ladies. a man. <laughs> Fantastic. You, you, moved to, you moved to Luxembourg two years ago with I Eamon. did. I moved two years ago and I went over without any job. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any secondary school teaching work here. Um, I got one letter from a principal in County Leash saying, don't give up hope. So I moved away with Eamon. He um, got a great job as a fund accountant in JP Morgan over there. So I went over and I said I'd work anywhere. I'd work in the black stuff where all the crew are watching in Luxembourg tonight. I'd work anywhere and uh, I found the ideal job in the European School of Luxembourg, teaching history, human science and geography. And uh, mm. it's very... How many people are in Luxembourg, first of all? There's 500,000 people, roughly. That's the population And out of that, And out of that, then, how many Irish are there? There's 2,000 Irish. So that's quite substantial, and I know every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so you landed over there, you got your dream job, I you did. moved over with Eamon, but you always wanted to be a teacher. I did. You're kind of actually kind of... OK, I'll just leave you explain. Oh, God, I always, always wanted to be a teacher from a very young age. I used to teach my beautiful dolls and teddy bears and have them all lined up on the bed, and I had a blackboard and everything, and my mum would be you know, going mad because I'd have chalk all over the carpet. She'd have to hoover it every second day. So I'd be sitting there and I'd be teaching away and I'd be absolutely, oh, giving it welly. <laughs> and I had sheets and everything. I don't, you, God knows what was on those sheets. You gave them exams. I gave them exams, I did. I and, did. And did you correct them? <laughs> I corrected the tests, yeah. OK, just to join up all the dots here, <laughs> Nicola, right. Who actually... <laughs> Sat down and did the exams. Um, I know. <laughs> I think, yeah, I actually did them. It was never maths because that was never my forte. It was definitely something like home ec. This is when I was in first year in school. And by God, if a teddy bear or a doll was out of line, he was straight outside the bedroom door. No coming back in. Definitely not. Is it true you were like that on the bus as well, the tour bus? <laughs> yeah, we were practicing our um, Rose song, which we, we had to sing off, basically, Roses versus Escorts, which we won, by the way. <laughs> well, in, so, well, well, in all fairness, look at your, look, look at your opposition. Look at the competition. Like, I mean, it was, you know... <laughs> if we just go back to Luxembourg yeah. for a second, because you've got to sing a song, a beautiful song that we've been listening to for the last two days. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the GAA in Luxembourg. Mm. Now, uh, just explain that to us. Where do you go to play your matches? 
So, well, the GAA in Luxembourg is about 80 members. It's quite a small club, but we've been doing really well on the European County Board. We've been going travelling to Paris, Zurich, Brussels, all over the, all over Europe to play. But we actually came back to Thurles for the Camogie um, finals. So you went from July. Paris to Luxembourg yeah. to Thurles. To, yeah. To <laughs> playing Camogie, yeah. Good yeah. stuff. So came home to Thurles, and I've never played GAA in my life until I moved to Luxembourg. So. That, that's, I play football and camogie you now while I play. Yeah, well, sure. <laughs> I, well in, all, in all fairness, I present. So. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? No, you got to, I will. If, if, you, if you go over there, yes, I'll, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll introduce uh, your song. Ladies and gentlemen, singing uh, La Vie en Rose, will you please give it up for our Luxembourg Rose, Nicola McAvoy? <laughs> Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, et ça fait quelque chose. My God Almighty, I've never been as... I, ha I haven't been kissed as much since the day I got married. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Luxembourg Rose, Nicola McAvoy. That was gorgeous.